In some parts of the world, the beauty of winter masks the stress it poses for plants. During this season, sunlight is scarce, temperatures plunge, and soil often becomes hard with ice. Plants here get ready for these conditions in the fall when most begin to lose their green color. They stop making new chlorophyll, the chemical needed to produce food. As the old chlorophyll breaks down, the color of leaves begins to change. Deciduous trees shed their leaves each year and remain inactive until spring, kind of like bears in hibernation. But conifers are hardy adapters to all kinds of environments. Their flexible branches bend as snow accumulates, dropping loads of snow to the ground below. Most have small leathery leaves, shaped like scales or needles. A waxy coating keeps moisture in and guards against ice. The narrow shape of needles lets the wind and snow pass between them and prevents them from drying out. Since many conifers don't lose their leaves, they are ready to produce food as soon as spring arrives. Other plants have to grow new leaves all over again. In some of the hottest places on Earth, cactus plants withstand unforgiving conditions. The giant saguaro cactus lives in the Sonoran Desert in the southwest United States. Here, temperatures climb to more than 100 degrees and less than four inches of rain falls each year. With plenty of sun, they get the energy they need, but water is a much different story. To collect moisture, they rely on a network of wide-spreading roots that cover large areas of the desert ground. They grow a good distance apart from each other as a result. Their tough, rubbery outer layer helps them store any moisture for months at a time. For a short time during the spring, the saguaro produces white blossoms. These buds open at night, providing a feast for long-nosed bats. The bats feed on the flowers and pollinate the cacti at the same time. This allows energy-rich fruit to form. Its seeds will feed all kinds of desert animals. These cacti reach heights of up to 50 feet and can live for almost 300 years. Surprisingly, their biggest threat isn't the heat at all. It comes from cities that are expanding nearby.